the Startup Therapist is in today. Jeff Hyman joins me now. He knows all things about starting up small businesses. And Hi, Angie. He loves entrepreneurs, so we love having you on. Thanks so much for coming on. It's great on. to be back. So one of the things that Jeff is starting to study here is how the show Shark Tank has really changed what's going on with entrepreneurs. Has it been good or bad for entrepreneurs? I think it's been a bit of both. You know, Shark Tank is seen by 7 million people, and so it's really kind of brought about a renaissance of entrepreneurship. There are 6 million people that start companies every month in the US and I think a lot of it is because of the show but I think there's some good things and bad for starters you know being an entrepreneur has become sexy you know kids used to want to be Michael Jordan now they want to be Mark Cuban and so people see the show and they're like well I have an idea for a product or service and it's as good as that and so why don't I start a company so I think that's been really good because that's gonna drive jobs most job creation in the US is a result of startups and new companies one thing that I've learned from watching the show is you really have to have your pitch down because that's what matters most when you get FaceTime with somebody who has influence and this applies to everywhere not just the show but just in general and I th and I think to that regard uh, it, it's brought about a real understanding from entrepreneurs about investors they understand the inv the questions that investors ask and how insightful they are and what it would mean to take their money the expectations that come with that I think that's really kind of taken some of the mystery out of investors but there's also some things that maybe some changes that are not so good what are the caveats here Jeff well for starters uh, I think that there's a, a bit of a false hope, right? So uh, the show appears in between two commercials and six minutes, a company will raise a couple hundred thousand dollars. In reality, first of all, these are cut from hours of segments and the, the investors grill these, uh, these entrepreneurs. And what you don't see is that after the deal is made, there's a lot of due diligence. And if the entrepreneur has said anything that's not true, the deal is, is off. But more importantly, I think the false hope is that a lot of entrepreneurs never raise the money. They try for months or years and never raise angel money or venture capital money. So it can, it can give a bit of a false hope. Most startups in the U.S. are bootstrapped, right? They're just grown slowly the, the old-fashioned way. What would be your advice then, Jeff? Well, I think uh, understanding that your, your safe bet is to build a startup that can survive with no outside capital. So if you can bootstrap it, then you've got a plan. Now, if you happen to be able to raise money to accelerate that plan, that's great. But to rely on, as Warren Buffett says, the kindness of strangers and raising money from outside investors is just a very diff uh, difficult path. Okay, good to have you here, Jack. Thanks for having me.